Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued decree number 18 of 2022 appointing Sheikh Turki bin Daij Al Khalifa as Director General of Resources and Information Systems at the Customs Affairs in the Ministry of Interior. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict number 26 of 2022 appointing Araf Abdurrahman Faqih as Director of Monitoring and Performance Follow-up at Customs Affairs in the Ministry of Interior. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received a U.S. delegation of a group of evangelists led by the founder of the Near East Foundation for Media and Experts in the field of media and political consultation, Joel C. Rosenberg, in the presence of the Chief of Public Security, the Under Secretary of the Interior Ministry, and the Director General of Information and Security Culture. The Minister hailed the visit and its importance in increasing communication and exchange of point of view, affirming that the reform approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is based on enhancing the values of coexistence, tolerance and openness which formed an essential starting point in signing the Abraham Accords peace agreements in September 2020 which contributes to strengthening security and stability. He highlighted Bahrain's openness to various religions as part of the community culture adding that Bahrain's constitution focuses on the human being and guarantees the rights of individuals to practice their religious rights freely. The Minister of Interior stated that nationalities and people of various religions who have lived long in Bahrain receive the Bahraini nationality which reflects the ability of the Bahraini community to coexist. He noted that there are a number of places of worship affiliated with different religions which asserts the consolidation of religious coexistence and tolerance in the Bahraini social and cultural fabric within the framework of the efforts of His Majesty the King to promote peace and understanding in the region and the world. During the meeting, the minister reviewed the initiatives of the national plan to promote the spirit of belonging to the nation and reinforce the values of nationalism. He added that extremism and fanatism still pose a major threat to the youth, which requires further efforts to protect them. For his part, Joel Rosenberg and the accompanying delegation expressed appreciation for Bahrain's role and efforts in the fields of coexistence and openness, which stem from the approach of His Majesty the King expressing wishes for for Bahrain and its people to continue the march of progress and consolidate security and stability. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, delivered a statement before the Development Committee on behalf of the Arab Group at the Maldives represented by Bahrain. The Minister stressed the importance of developing economic policies and enhancing flexibility in the face of the coronavirus pandemic and the role played by the World Bank Group in addressing the effects of the pandemic in addition to supporting growth, achieving economic recovery and protecting the most needy groups. Sheikh Salman highlighted the importance of investing in human capital and activating its primary role within the economic development process by refining human energies within with skills and achieving the highest levels of productivity, stressing the importance of supporting women and youth and ensuring that the human element benefits from education and health care. The Minister of Finance stressed the importance of activating the important role of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund in supporting developing countries affected by conflicts, in addition to the importance of achieving achieving sustainable development goals through the optimal use of resources and the formulation of strong legislative frameworks for the digital economy, taking into account consumer protection, data protection and cybersecurity risks. The Supreme Council for the Environment received the Excellence Award in Communication with Customers for the year 2021 within the National System of Suggestions and Complaints to Wassel due to the outstanding efforts made by the Council's members in providing the best services to the beneficiaries. The victory comes as a result of continuous directives and visions by His Majesty the King, marking the occasion the Acting United National Residents Nations Residents Coordinator in Bahrain, Mohammed Zarghani, said that despite the challenges posed by the coronavirus pandemic, Bahrain was able to move forward in implementing most of the joint projects and initiatives within the United Nations developing new projects for the future and achieving important results in the process. 
And inspectors from the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism in cooperation with the National Bureau for Revenue, the NBR, inspected 40 shops and commercial establishments in a number of vital commercial areas. During the inspection campaigns, 17 violations were detected that require the imposition of administrative fines of up to 10,000 Bahraini dinars, according to the VAT law. In addition, some cases may be considered cases of VAT evasion, which may require the precautionary closure of some stores and accordingly the NBR is in the process of taking legal measures against the violating establishments. The Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism and the National Revenue Authority urged establishments to adhere to the implementation of the mechanisms of the transitional phase of VATS and to deal efficiently and consciously in order to achieve its proper application.